This is where you live, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just like a page out of an old book. Oh, Mr. McLeod built it for me when we were married. Yes, this old house means a lot to me. Yes, this house and its memories. That's what's kept me from knuckling under to Mr. Doherty. Ma'am, you sound like you're kind of hipped on Miss Doherty. What's he ever done to you? Oh, well, it isn't me. It's what he's done to this town, to the people in it. You can't sit by and let things like that happen. Why not? You haven't got a chance against people like that. You can't win, ma'am, so why get her trying? Because you've got to try. How do you think this town would have been built, or any town, or America at all, if people hadn't fought the bad things? And I, I tell you, this Mr. Doherty is bad. Someone's got to stand up and fight back. <laughs> you wouldn't be trying to sell me again. No. Yeah. No, I guess that wouldn't be fair. No. After all, it's... My town and my job, not yours. But I simply will not print these articles. What articles? See, see. Mr. Doherty had them written by his men. And now he's trying to make me print them in my paper over my name. He is? Yes. Let me see them, will you? Oh, will you be bother? I've no right to ask. Well, that's all right. I might as well no. know what's going on. Oh, well, if you insist. Anyway, it's time I was getting down to the office. I... Will you be uh, coming down later? Well, will you? Hmm? Oh, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. These editorials. Oh, they're interesting, aren't they? Yeah. Mighty interesting. Mm hmm Tell me, where could I find this Mr. Doherty? <laughs> Speak up. What's on your mind, young man? Mr. Doherty, I believe you submitted these articles for publication in the Shield and Banner. I'm afraid Mrs. McLeod won't be able to use them. Hmm? Is that a message from Mrs. McLeod? You can call it that. Just a minute. Who are you? What have you got to do with this? Oh, you you might say I'm I'm working for Mrs. McLeod. Well, I didn't know she hired any... Wait, I get it. You're the, the tramp she pulled out of court this morning. Now, look... Well, you better watch your step around here, bum. Yes, until you've learned a little more about the setup. Vinnie McLeod's got to keep her nose strictly out of my affairs. If she doesn't, there'll be trouble. Yes, trouble for her or anyone who's helping her. You get that? I get it. I guess I had it all wrong. Yeah, I guess you did. Well, maybe I'll take these articles back. Maybe Mrs. McLeod will print them. Uh, maybe she will. I guess I didn't understand just how things stood. Well, you understand now. And I'm a busy man, so beat it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say, uh, where's the office of the Shield and Banner? Oh, it's over on Oak Street at the crummy old building near the... Wait a minute. Don't you know? I thought you worked there. I do. Since about 30 seconds ago. So long. <laughs> In just a Tom Richards had promised Dougherty that his misleading editorials would be published in the Shield and Banner. What he hadn't promised was how. That part of the deal he saved for Mrs. McLeod. Don't you get it, Mrs. Editor? We print these articles of his, but we put every lie in bold italics. And we put a few lines at the top explaining why we are printing them. Because he's put a gun at your head. <laughs> Seen the new shield and banner yet? Man, I'll bet Bill Doggerty's hot. <laughs> Coming right out and printing things. Whatever's got into Vinnie McCall. Hey, know what that Richard fella's doing? Trying to get written statements from all the folks that Doggerty's been milking. If you ask me, he's really picked himself a job. Sure, I can tell you things, young man. But not to print in your newspaper. If you do, I'll just deny him, that's all. I won't print anything you don't want me to. All right. Take me, for example. I know what they call me around town. Gas House Mary. But there's mighty few boys and girls grown up around here in the last 10, 12 years that ain't come to my place to dance on the date night. I've seen them growing up. I've seen them fall in love. And I've seen a lot of them get married. I'll bet you have. Happens I like, kids. 
So I've always run a decent place. No drinking, no rough stuff. So when Bill Doherty comes around and suggests I get myself some protection by making a donation to his city orphan fund, I says, what do I need protection for? I run a straight place. So two nights later, a lot of bums come in and smash the place up. The next week, they do the same thing again. So I get the point. I make a nice, fat donation to the orphan fund. How about those kids who've come here to dance? They've grown up into decent, honest citizens. If we could just get them behind ah, us, we could... don't make me laugh. You can't depend on honest citizens. Not unless something makes them mad enough to fight. And that takes plenty. Yeah, I guess it does. Tell me, what do you know about Bill Swain? The state boss up in the Capitol? Yeah, they tell me he doesn't like Tockerty. Yeah, I could understand that. Bill Swain's all right. <laughs> Bill Swain. I ain't set eyes on him for 30 years. He used to be kind of sweet on me. Only we had to fuss about ketchup. About what? Ketchup. Tomato ketchup. Bill used to put it on everything. Melon, cereal, everything he ate. <laughs> but when he put it on my homemade peach ice cream, <laughs> I spoke my mind to him. And he went off in a tantrum and I ain't never seen him since. Might be worth you going up to the Capitol. That's what I figured. I can give you a letter to him. Thanks. And if you need a little cash for a train fare... <laughs> <laughs> train fare, not me. I want to stay an amateur. <laughs> Sorry, the only time I could see you was lunch. I'm a busy man, son, a busy man. I know you are, Mr. Swain, and Found I appreciate... Found your way up here in the freight, huh? Well, good for you. You used to do it myself. Care for some ketchup? Uh, yes, sir. There. Besides, if Mary says you're all right... Say, you ain't putting that ketchup in your coffee. Why not? Well, someone never tried. <laughs> Is it good? Well, ketchup's kind of good with everything, don't you think? Yes, sir, I gotta try that. <laughs> it, it, that's good. <laughs> that's real good. Say, I've been missing something all these years. Now, about this Doherty... Believe me, Mr. Swain, There ain't a... nothing you can tell me about him, son. That Doherty's just as crooked as they come. But he's the biggest boat swinger in the whole state, and I can't afford to get rid of him. I know. It's the same old thing. Nobody can afford to fight Doherty. Well, I'm going to. Yeah? Yes. Well, you're different. You're the only one with nothing to lose. Ketchup in coffee. It's a revelation, son, a revelation. Well, when he put that ketchup in his coffee, Mrs. McLeod, I'd have laid three to one he was in our camp. Guess I'd have lost. Mr. Swain won't help, then. He's like all the rest, scared of Doherty. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. I... I was hoping the fight might... Keep you here a while. What do you mean? Well, you'll be going away. I, I know you're not the kind to stay put. You've been itching to get away ever since you got here. <laughs> you're forgetting. My parole's got another month to go. Win or lose, I'm working for you to then. Uh, Mrs. Mack? I'm afraid not. I'm afraid the paper won't last that long. Why not? Well, there's the matter of the mortgage. Mr. Doherty's had the bank transferred to him. The mortgage on the house, too. I'm afraid I won't even have a place for you to live. How much are the mortgages? Together? Fifteen thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, I'm sorry, Tom. You don't mind my calling you Tom, do you? Uh -uh. No, no. I'm sorry about so many things. The paper, the house, of course. And perhaps we could have helped Mary a little. Mary? Mary who? Gas house, Mary. Happened yesterday while you were away. What? Apparently, Mr. Doherty found out that she'd talked with you. He sent one of his men around to tell her that she'd have to double her contribution to the orphan fund. And Mary said she couldn't and that she wouldn't. She came rushing over to tell me about it, and oh, she was very angry. She said we could print the entire story. And then... Then what? This morning, they arrested her. Arrested her? Mm -hmm. Why? Well, some technicality, a franchise or something. Yes, they're holding her for bail. Fifteen on 